In this video we will add the suspension arms to the chassis model applying two different approaches. First by using the imported coordinate points and then by 3D sketching. The suspension arm coordinate points can be imported within Spaceclaim as a TXT file. We can go to the assembly tab and select the file option. Spaceclaim reads the points in ZXY format as seen on the screen. The polyline function creates specific points within the model. Once imported the three points can be seen within the model. To add the suspension arms, we can simply select the beam profile with which we wish to create the arms and click on the create option. Now by clicking onto the imported points and the chassis points the beams are added within them. Thus, we can similarly create the uprights and lower wishbone. Now we can select the created upper wishbones beams and move them to a new component. Renaming it as right hand side front upper arm, based on its location on the chassis. The name can simply be copy pasted for the members within the component. Renaming each component would make it simpler to create joints while adding connections during the model setup. Similarly, we can move the beams of the uprights and lower a arm to a new component and rename them. We will now add the rear suspension arms by first creating their geometry and then assigning our beam profile to their sketch. For this, let's create a plane along the Y-Z axis of the imported geometry. The plane can then be moved precisely to the front upright location by using the Move tool. To draw the rear suspension arms, we can first align our geometry to look directly at the plane and then click on the Sketch tool. With the line feature, we can approximately create a point on this plane and then click on 3D view to sketch in the 3D space. Connecting the created point to the chassis at the front and rear end. In the same way, we can draw the lower suspension arms by creating a point on the plane and then connecting it to the chassis ends. To move the joining points of the suspension arms at the correct height, we can select the point created on the plane and use the Move tool to shift them up to the height of the front arm. Once, both the points are at the correct location, the upright can then be sketched by joining the two points with the Line tool. With the Line tool we can modify any 3D geometry and hence add components directly to the model. To convert the sketched part to a beam model we simply select all the members and click on our previously created profile. In this way, the custom cross sections are assigned to the created suspension arms. To mirror the front and rear arms to the left hand side, we first create a plane in the middle of the chassis geometry. Then using the mirror tool by selecting the created plane as the mirroring plane. Now by just clicking onto the right hand side suspension arms they can be directly mirrored onto the left hand side. Noting here that the mirrored members appear within the component of the base geometry and not as a new component. Therefore, each mirrored beam member is now moved to its own component and renamed based on the location. To add the springs to the uprights, we need to split the rear upright beams into two equal parts. For this we can click on the split curve feature in the sketch toolbar and then select the upright. Thus, the selected beam is split into two separate beams. Similarly we can split the beams at the rear bulkhead for setting up the boundary conditions in ANSYS Mechanical. Now, in the structure tree we can see all the members have been moved to their separate components and have their respective names. Currently the overall model consists of the suspension members and the chassis members which are geometrically connected but still common vertices are not shared within their geometries. As we would like the chassis members to be imported into mechanical as one part, we hide all the other components and click on the share tool in the workbench tab. Clicking on the green tick, all the common vertices are thus shared for the chassis, and their members are converted to one part. 
Similarly, for suspension arms and uprights, we first hide the chassis and unhide all the suspension arms, then click on the share tool. And then follow the same steps to share the common vertices of the uprights. Thus, the suspension arms can be added to the chassis geometry and the model is ready to be imported for mechanical analysis.